Okay, um, I'm going to talk today about uh, some uses of stuff that hasn't, I don't think, been used in a while. Um, I'm going to talk about cross-section and surface. Okay, and it's it's a part of it's a modeling method in Max, um, and it basically is a very simple modeling method. Um, what you're doing is you pretty much essentially create your spline, um, and it's it's a form of spline modeling here. So what you're going to do is you you create your spline, and then from there, what you can do is you can actually um, I'm going to go in and change my interpolation down to zero. And you know you can have you know the the key point about this type of modeling is what you're going to do is take this line and uh, duplicate it, create the shapes that you need, and then attach them together. Now, when you're doing this, you want to be aware that you want to. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to refine this real quick and I'm just going to put one in there put one in there and then put one in there okay so this is my my base level line and then all I'm going to do is let's see if we can scale this out nope uh, it doesn't work like that with splines so we're just going to bend this out like so bend that one out and we're going to bring that one up okay so say I'm going to do a car body, okay, and this is my my uh, spline, and I'm going to start from here, and I'm going to just get rid of the grids so you guys can see what's going on, and what I'm going to do is go from here, and I'm going to just move this over like this, and I'm going to make sure it's copy, and I'm going to do, we'll do like, we'll do 10. I think 10 will be good enough. Okay, so I've got 10, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in, and actually, that's the button I want to use. So what I'm going to do is go in, and the first thing I'm going to do is take this um, and rotate this downward like so, and we're going to... I think I'm going to just create something simple like that. And I'm just going to go in and we're going to move this down here. And I think that'll be my be my base. And then I think this one's fine. Um, and then we're going to start on um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the I'm going to make a vehicle here, so we're just going to start moving up like so, something like that. And then I'm just going to clone this one more time. Actually, we're going to clone it two more times. And it doesn't matter as if you're if you're the creation method, um, because what you're doing is it's it's going to be based on the attach method. And I'll show you that in a second here. So something like this. All right, so that looks good. And then what you can do is um, go, in, go in. And I'm just going to do something like, let's see here. Something along the lines of this and this and we're just gonna go to the next one. I'm gonna play with the next next one, move this up a little bit. And same thing. Move it up a hair. up a hair and I'm just going to move this up and I'm going to move these 
up a little bit. And we're just going to move that one up like so. Actually down a little bit more. So you kind of get the point. All I'm doing is I'm just shaping the the outside like a, a car or vehicle. And we're gonna do one more. And then we're gonna start coming down like so. And we're gonna take this one and move it up. And then let's see here. This I'm gonna move up. that up here. Okay, and this one I'm going to just copy inward. And so pretty much something like that. And we're going to actually just angle pull this out a little bit. something like that. Grab this. A little bit bigger. And then I'm just going to clone one this way. And clone one this way. And we're just going to raise this a little bit. Drop this a little bit. And we're going to drop that a little bit. Okay, so that's my essential car body, right? The next part is to attach. And what we want to do is attach from this point right here, the first to the last, and go in order. So you're going to click the attach button and simply just go in and attach them all like so. Okay, and once that's done, you're going to, and I'm going to uh, zoom out so you can see, I'm going to actually go with this one. So you've got this shell of your car body, if you will, and what you're going to do is you're going to add this cross-section modifier on, okay? And what the cross-section will do is it will attach that you've attached in order of your vehicle. So from here, you pretty much can go in and kind of play with your, your car. Um, so say I want to go back into my vertex, and I'm going to grab this and just pull it up a little bit. And I don't want this so fishtailed look, so something like that. So And that cross-section is pretty much going to add that modifier in there. Very simple, very easy, and then in order to get the, uh, if I want, you know, if I want to smooth it out, I can actually do smooth or bevel, um, you know, I can control all that sort of thing. Um, and then the next thing you're going to add is a surface modifier, and that is right here. And that surface modifier will bend it accordingly. So there is my... Um, there is my body essentially as a mesh. Now the nice thing about this is I can always put an editor poly on top of there and um, let me see here before I do the surface. Uh, the, you want to change the topology down to zero so that way it's not going to um, change your, your uh, geometry and then you're going to do an edit poly uh, I just like so and you know then you can go in and start tweaking the mesh you know I can simply go in and start scaling this out go in here and grab 
that other one. So you can kind of go in and tweak and you've got you've got your base car all set to go. And that's pretty much um, you know a real fast, simple way to start you know building out a car. And then from there from there you can always add a, you know a mesh smooth or a turbo smooth. You know the turbo smooth is gonna give you more geometry to play with but you can go in with this low poly and really quick create a fast um, a fast uh, shell if you will of anything that you you need that would look like this so I, I just wanted to show you guys that as another modeling method